and it's probably going to look and feel a lot different than it did before COVID-19 and social distancing. We knew you would feel this way today. That's why we have Jesse Schultz on the case. She spoke to an etiquette expert, has more on how we're going to navigate, Jesse, these new social norms. Look at you. You're already doing it. I know. So a lot of what we depend on for social cues is gone. With this mask on, you can't tell if I'm frowning or I'm smiling. So there are some other things we should rely on as we re-enter our social circles. Obviously, the days of shaking hands and hugging are far behind us. The etiquette expert I talked to says we should focus on maintaining good posture and eye contact. She says our posture communicates confidence and willingness to engage and that our eye contact tells us a lot about how a person is feeling. It's all about going back to basic niceties, using the words excuse me, saying hello, saying please and thank you. The tone of voice you use is so important. And even though people may not be able to see your smile, they can hear it. And that's why the smile and the tone is, is it's just, it's really up there now as the way of communicating with eye contact. Because people are gonna be listening to your voice and how you're speaking to them versus seeing your smile. And that is critical to maintaining good interpersonal skills with someone, whether it's a stranger in the store or on the sidewalk, or whether you're going back into the workplace. Okay, so she says if you feel like someone is getting into your personal space, just step back and then politely tell them that you're more comfortable with the six feet of distance guidelines and they should understand. Katie, Danita, 